sugar, spice, and everything nice. The Powerpuff Girls have officially landed in Mooncat's orbit and my order has finally arrived in my mailbox. It is all right here. So today's swatch sesh features the collaboration between Mooncat and the Powerpuff Girls. I was waiting to get this so that we can open it together. So let's get to that. I am super excited. So this is the collection right here. It features six limited edition nail polish shades in the cutest, most power puffiest nail polish boxes that you can imagine. There is the purple version. There's a pink version. How adorable is that? Whoever worked on these designs did a great job. That's super cute. These polishes are a jelly formula that also come packed with a bunch of other cool fun stuff, but also some familiar things. This one right here, I have an unpopular opinion about, but yeah, let's get to swatching these. Blossoms Fire Breath. As a heads up, since these are jellies, I'm going to cap the coats to a max of two or three coats because I do enjoy being able to see my nail line with jellies. So Blossom's Fire Breath has pink, blue, and orange flakies who are the best roommates with the micro hollow glitter in this light pink jelly base. This polish is just cuteness in a bottle, even though the name contradicts that. I really appreciate the blue iridescent flakies here. It creates a really nice contrast and when shifting your nail around, that blue color is quick to catch your eye and draw your interest. So I'm glad that Mooncat found a way to elevate and add a pop of color to this soft shade of pink which by the way was absolutely required i mean it is the powerpuff girls this collection cannot exist without a pink don't cry bubbles don't cry bubbles is a sky blue colored jelly polish holding rainbow color shifting flakies and blue yellow and green round glitter but also two types of hollow glitter this is pretty impressive check this out these glitters in this formula that we have i don't think this is something mooncat normally throws in or at least it's not something i regularly see from the brand i really appreciate the step they took here with the glitters it is such a cool way to honor bubbles too Hardcore Buttercup. This is a green jelly base lacquer that is strong with the flakies. We have a mix of green, purple, and teal iridescent flakies alongside two variety of holographic glitter. Now, as you've seen throughout the swatches, this formula is very buildable. As with all jelly formulas, you can layer these and choose how sheer or opaque of a look you'd like to end up with. The flakies really assist in achieving more of an opaque look as well. I noticed that Hardcore Buttercup seems to be one of the more sheer shades in this collection for example i only needed two coats with don't cry bubbles but three with this one now this is not really a shade of green that i enjoy although i can't hate it for the simple fact that it is a flaky jelly and i do get that they have to match buttercup's palette too chemical x chemical x i have thunk some thoughts about chemical x which is a black jelly base pretty nicely packed with a variety of color shifting iridescent flakies floating alongside three different types of hollow glitters possibly an unpopular opinion but this is a familiar type of polish that i've seen so many times before over and over again i do wish this polish had something to make it stand out from the rest they did add three different types of hollow glitter but still the final look just looks like the other polishes that i'm referring to now it's still a lovely polish but if you're watching this video and this limited edition polish is sold out I wouldn't worry at all. You can grab something that looks like this from other brands. Forces of Evil. This polish has a pinkish red jelly base and like the rest is heavy with the flakies in Forces of Evil. We have pink, orange, and blue iridescent flakies floating alongside the micro hollow glitter. 
Now, it seems like these are the same special effect ingredients that we got in Blossom's Fire Breath, but in a different colored base. Because this is a pink red base, the shade of blue that we see in the blue iridescent flakies here is different. It's more of a deeper indigo blue that contrasts even more strongly than with Blossom's Fire Breath in my opinion. This red pink color is one of those eye addicting hues that you're just mesmerized by. They really did such a good job with this one. The Diabolical Mojojojo. Fun fact, that is how we say Mojo Jojo in Spanish. It is Mojojojo. This polish is the most interesting one of the collection in my opinion. It's a purple jelly lacquer holding color shifting purple to pink shimmer alongside green pink and black flakies. Also we get three varieties of holographic glitter. This is such a cool polish. Personally I feel like this one is a little bit different from anything else that I've seen from Mooncat. To me this is a type of look that I see coming more from small indie brands that get really experimental. So so this one took me by surprise. I really, really, really dig this. It's so refreshing to see this coming from Mooncat and hopefully we get more of this in the future. TLDL, here is the full collaboration between Mooncat and the Powerpuff Girls. So let's talk about flakies and jellies. It might not be everyone's favorite polish formula. Personally, I've always seen jellies as the most youthful and playful type of polish compared to cremes, metallics, or multi-chrome polishes, for example. There's definitely different looks and feels, if that makes any sense. But being that they released this collab in summer and it is the Powerpuff Girls, the flakies and all of these sparkly components in a jelly base did make sense to me personally. Although, I'll admit that because I am fond of the Powerpuff Girls, I was initially worried about how they were going to express the Powerpuff Girls imagery through nail polish. But I can honestly say that I appreciate this, even though I am not a fan of Chemical X. That one was quite underwhelming, but what are your thoughts on that one? I'm open to chatting about it down below, but it is time for me to go oil my cuticles. Thank you for the polish hangout. I'm here every week with a new swatch sesh. I hope you have a great day. Bye bye Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Thank you for watching so much. Do do do. Thank you for, thank you for watching, for watching my video. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.